Hello, my beautiful Sagittarius. Welcome to your horoscope forecast for your weeklies for November 18th to the 24th. I want to thank you guys so much for liking, sharing, and subscribing, and thank you to my members. I really appreciate all of your support. And if you would like a personal read with me, go to my website, jenniferwalkerazen.com, or check out the description box below. Also, my beautiful darlings, um, I have a brand new channel. It's called JWZ Mystery. So if you're a fan of the paranormal or unsolved true crime stories, you may want to check out my second channel. All the information is in the description box below. All right, so what are we going to talk about today? We're going to talk about the day to day, the love interest feelings, fluctuations and challenges, and the overall outcome. And if you guys like it this way, you want me to continue this way, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. You can do both. Sorry, guys. I know I was a little bit loud. All right, let's jump right in. All right, so what's going to happen? My Sagittarius is romantic life for November 18th to the 24th. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. All right, Sagittarius, let's see here. Three of Swords, Chariot, Ace of Wands, Three of Wands, lots of threes, Devil card. Five of Swords, Strength card. Their feelings, Four of Pentacles, Two of Pentacles, Magician, really good card, okay. Blockage, Seven of Wands, okay. Empress, High Priestess, Justice, interesting. That's very interesting, we'll talk about that in a minute. Okay. Um, so remember, this is going to be November 18th, 19th, 20, 21, 22, 23, and 24. So feel free, Sagittarius, at the end of the week to come back and check this out. Let me know how it plays out in your individual situations in the comments below. So Seven of Wands is the blockage this week, right? So it's talking about somebody who needs to defend their position against other people. Because that's, if you see here, what's, what's the Wands doing? They're coming at this person like, hey, 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 what are you doing? What are you doing? Right? That kind of energy. So sevens also have to do with analyzing or overanalyzing something. Wow, the bottom of the deck is the lovers. So it's a really strong love connection here. Somebody wants to be with you, spend time with you. But there's been some confusion about what to do to overcome the hurt and the pain. Ten of Swords energy. There's some romantic gestures here, but there's concern that something about the situation won't be accepted. So there's been a lot of overanalyzing. How can I win this situation? How can I win them over? Because these memories of the past and this truth that's spoken here. Queen of Swords energy. Okay. We're going to use the Kipper deck to clarify. All right. So I can see already that. Let's just first look at the Seven of Wands. Why is the Seven of Wands here for Sagittarius? The blockage. What's that about? Show me the cards I need. Two. Okay, so a house, a family situation, and some big changes happening that someone isn't being honest about. Okay, they're keeping it to themselves, they're not saying anything. Okay, so we start out with the Three of Swords energy, right, on the 18th, so someone's really heartbroken here. What's this about? Okay, thanks, Spirit. Like, literally, they're like, yeah, this card's okay. I'm gonna look at this, but I'm gonna shuffle this, Spirit. Okay, so we see there's a victory here Someone wants some kind of victory, luck, and a decision about a marriage, okay, or commitment. Okay, what's going to have my Sagittarius's romantic love life on November 18th to the 24th? Show my cards I need to see. Show my cards I need to see. All right, thank you. So definitely there is this heartache and loss here. And six is talk about healing, recovery, and love. Okay, trying to find a creative solution. What's up with this? What's going to have my Sagittarius and Rancid Glove Life November 18th to the 24th? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Spiritual messages, signs about this heartache of this person and the loss that they feel. Okay, that's interesting. Something to do with traditional values. So traditions. Okay. Hmm. Okay, let's keep going. Don't worry, we're going to bring it all together. And that's very interesting because the High Priestess is here. It's also a very spiritual card. Okay, so we got the Chariot card on the 19th. 
so chariots for me is my travel card it's like all right there's some kind of distance someone's going to do some kind of travel they're going to take charge of the situation there's strong will desire here for what why because there's worry and concern about family okay so it looks to me that there's an infringing family situation happening coming up here in the next couple days um, on the 18th and the 19th there's also a potential opportunity of passion a new person possibly for some of you guys we see main person that's going to be happy so here there's some issues with a situation where family is going to cause some issues here okay so just be aware of that that's on the 18th and the 19th but then you're going to have a very happy day here on the 20th and there's a potential opportunity coming in so there's something you've been waiting for on the 21st that's going to happen here you're going to get that sad news from someone they're sad and they want to communicate with you so it looks like some of you guys were waiting on some kind of communication from someone and it looks like you're going to get that communication on the 21st we see the devil card energy is coming out here which shows me on the 22nd that there's strong desires and obsessive energy someone wants you to pay attention to them right they like, pay attention to me that's what i see from this devil card energy if you guys can see let's see i'll go closer here you see pay attention to me <laughs> okay right and it's like you receive some kind of unexpected turn of events here all of a sudden so this is going to be pretty abrupt some sudden situation is going to happen all of a sudden with this person who's really obsessed okay let's just get a little bit more information about that guys okay so what's going to happen for Sagittarius is a little bit more information on this 22nd on what's going to happen to Sagittarius I'm getting sudden, I'm getting desires, obsessions, unexpected turn of events. Okay, what's, what else? Give me more details of what's going to happen on the 22nd. So someone is realizing your worth, and there's a lot of emotions at play here. And they want support because they feel like you're a part of their life purpose. And they're realizing there's strong compatibility and a lot of abundance and we see this person seeing something from a spiritual, mature spiritual perspective. Okay. Okay, so you got this defeated energy here on the 23rd. Should I stand up and fight? Should I walk away? Fives have to do with challenges or changes. You got luck here, some kind of victory. I want to invest time. Please be patient with me. And then we see this person again. I want your attention. Give me your attention. That's exactly what I feel like in this card. You see that? Give me your attention. Notice me. All right. That's that card again coming out. Must be the same person. It's like, notice me. Notice me. Okay. We see Justice talks about making a decision. And something around work or money or an offer here. Ace of Pentacles can be a huge offer because this from my deck is like the Ace of Pentacles. Money, family, children, long term. So some kind of huge offer here. So let's bring it together. So we see there's a spiritual message or traditional values and something to do with family here. And we see, I want to be happy here. I want to communicate with you. All of a sudden, something happens here. Something that you've been waiting for, been patient on. We see an offer coming in. Okay. Very soon you'll have to make a decision because it's power move. You're the wisest decision for me. I have feelings for you. I'm confused. I want a happy outcome. Let's spend time together. Something to do with a person you've known before. Shock and surprise. Okay. There's a loss of concern with the main person because of the sad news, which brings on, it's a, it's, a, it's a good turn of events because that's what this means. An unexpected good turn of events. And luck in a decision. Lucky decision. Or even justice for some of you guys. Okay, so going further heartache in their desires brings about an opportunity here that you've been waiting for obsessing about this defeated energy and finally finds the strength courage and confidence to come forward here strength card energy so let's talk about your love interest feelings whoever that is whoever we're here for okay they want to hold on to you 
and they've been weighing some kind of decision here with the Two of Pentacles energy. Going back and forth, some of you guys may have noticed they've been a little bit hot and cold or back and forth in their energy, but they are realizing that you are the one here, that you have everything that they want, everything that they need. This is, this is a person who's like, this person is my, you know, my ideal partner. This is my ideal partner. Yes, we see a love connection and worker effort. And this could be work related to you. We see occupation, relationship and occupation and work. All of a sudden, something happened with this person. They had some kind of awareness all of a sudden. Maybe it's something you manifested here. Something happened all of a sudden that really made them more self-aware. We see commitment and we see again another spiritual card. This person wants to communicate with you. They want to hold on to this commitment. They've been waiting a decision about work and effort and gaining knowledge. There's awareness that you are um, their ideal partner and all of a sudden they want to communicate. They want so to communicate or you've communicated with them or they want you to communicate with them. Okay. They definitely want to put the work into the connection. So let's come back to this blockage. All right, what is the Seven of Wands about? Seven of Wands has been, it's, been, it's, it's to do with defending someone's position against other people, and it's something you've been waiting for, and now there's this cautious defensive energy. Okay, so we see here the Empress. Now the Empress, we can see the Empress in a couple of different ways, okay? So Sagittarius, we can take a look and say the Empress is a mother energy, okay? Because she's the Divine Feminine, okay? She's the Divine Feminine, she's the mother of Major Arcana, and the Empress is the father. So we could say there's something to do with a mother energy and some kind of air of mystery, some secrets, and we see that causes a decision to be made, okay? Or there's some justice here around the situation that's brought into balance. Or I could see this another way for some of you guys. Love and abundance. I want to start a family. I find you very attractive. There was some air of mystery here around the situation, but now a decision is made, and I almost I feel like things are definitely pretty obvious now. Thoughts. Long-term distance. Spending time together. An offer of love, Ace of Cups energy with a friend. Okay, so it looks like there was a decision. There was an offer of love. There's definitely a love connection here and definitely the attraction. And we see this person's thinking about you. There still seems to be some, or this concerns that this, this is a friend and there's some air of mystery or there may have, you guys, maybe getting some kind of spiritual like understanding about this connection with the high priestess card energy because it's interesting we see the yin and yang here and then we see it here as well so there is a this offer of love and a friendship and some delays and challenges we see this attractive energy and an air of mystery and a decision that's made I've been thinking about you far away, long-term, distant. I want to spend time together. Let's spend some alone time together. It's hopeful of a new beginning, fresh start, or even to start a family with the child card energy, okay? Let's make an effort towards this relationship, and you're going to have to make a decision about it. Family, long-term, a crossroads about what to do. Is this the best decision for me? I've been thinking about you and you've left me on the cold or just some loss here. And now we see there's a happy energy coming in. So I want to be, be clear about this. There's a person who wants to make an effort towards a relationship, but you're at a crossroads, possibly because of some of you, family may be infringing upon the connection, okay? It seems to be a new person or a person that's really wanting something serious here. And they're, they're putting a lot of thoughts and plans, but there's concerns about leaving this person out cold or some loss around this happiness. It looks like they want to spend some alone time and they're hopeful of this. Yes, they want your attention. They're in despair here and concerns of an ending. But we see if we go across like this, you have a victory. 
They want your attention. Despair ends, okay? We see main person, house and family, and a marriage or commitment here. We see a mother energy again, stressing about this situation because of isolation or separation. So also, I can see this also for some of you guys, for Sagittarius, okay? I can see some of it as well. What happened is, is there was a separation between you and this person because someone had to tend to some issues around a mother. Okay, so we see now the timing is right. There's a deep love connection, but there's a lot of responsibilities and burdens here with the Ten of Wands energy. So obviously this person is madly in love with you, okay? But obviously there's some issues here with some burdens and responsibilities which cause some kind of um, issues here with separation or isolation. But now the timing is right here. Okay, so going further. There were some deceptions or hidden aspects, but now we see a risk being taken to heal this, to move, to overcome challenges, to see the light in a tunnel with six swords energy. All right, so let's move this out of the way. Sagittarius, and I want to just get you guys a little bit more information here. All right, what else does Sagittarius need to know? When it comes to the romantic love life of the week of November 18th to 24th, that could better help them understand what's going on here. Show me cards they need to see. Show me the cards they need to see. Okay, so there was a loss of someone who was left out in the cold or you left someone out in the cold. But then we see that there was this higher power. This, uh, your intuition told you something about this opportunity. And then there was this big surprise that comes in this week. I know there was a lot of regrets about this loss of time, but we see this brand new life. And arguments and fights about opening up about feelings. A solid foundation that was built here, but things that had to be done by the book. You're, you're seeing some really great signs, serendipity is happening here. And you know deeply that there is deep love, Ace of Cups energy. So you don't have any doubt that this person's madly in love, okay? That there's a soulmate connection and a communication going on here for an equal exchange. It seems like there's a, a situation where you guys are stuck between two different worlds, but something big is about to change to help heal the situation because of people. And there is the family situation coming up or infringing parties there. All right, my beautiful Sagittariuses. I love you guys so much. If you guys like it this way, you want me to this way, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. I'll see you guys another day or two. There's some multiple readings you guys to go check out right now. There's the monthlies, there is the mid-monthlies, there is the bi-weeklies, there is their true feelings. Uh, Secrets is up and available for you guys to watch. I love you guys so much and I will see you guys soon.